testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, it is good to be back. Another episode of Quick Hits. Um, Quick Hits comes out to you every day, twice a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. And also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube as well. Um, at all proceeds from that channel go to, go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. It's going to be an interesting one. Uh, we got some beef here with uh, Devin Haney. Uh, undisputed lightweight champion of the world who said he'd be happy to take Tank Davis's Mickey Mouse belt later in the year after he beats Cambosis and Steven Esmeralda, uh, an executive of Showtime Sports, Showtime Boxing. Um, so allegedly, apparently, um, Devin Haney wants to fight Tank Davis, and he says his dad has reached out to him multiple times. Um, and Steven Esmeralda apparently doesn't answer his phone. Um, Steven, uh, Steven Esmeralda, and this is all, uh, uh, you know, Twitter beef. Um, I'll, I'll raise you. Steven, I have no problem taking Tank's Mickey Mouse belt in December. Um, to which he said, I'd be happy to discuss it. To which Esmeralda said, I'll be happy to discuss it, but I understand you've signed a promotional agreement, which, as you know, means the discussion must be handled by your promoter, and they have final say on who you fight. Have them give me a call. Best of luck in your October fight. That's kind of a dig at um, at Haney. Um, it, it is what it is. It, it it seems like that's Espinosa saying that they don't really want to make the fight, right? I mean, am I wrong about that? What do you guys think? To me, you're saying your promoter has the final say. He's, he's saying he's got a co-promotional deal. Um, to me, it's like, okay, well, I- I'll call and I'll, I'll make an offer on the fight. Let's discuss this. But he's not saying that he's saying your promoter has the final say. Well, all you can do is make an offer Espinosa. Something else you can do. He'll either accept the offer, decline the offer or make you a counter offer. Right. Um, I, I kind of believe Haney in here because C- Haney Is Haney's the one here who, who, with all the belts, right? Like Haney can fight whoever he wants. Haney doesn't have to ask for anything, but he's asking for this tank fight, which means he kind of wants it. Which to me means he's a fighting champion. Which in this division with this talent at one thirty-five, and then he goes up to one forty, which he will go up to one forty. He's a huge lightweight. Um, we're gonna get some good fights, and that's a really good sign. Um, I mean, is it just me? Am I being optimistic here? Am I being blinded here? Or do you, there, there's some confusion here, right? Like, who do you kind of believe in this exchange here? Do you believe that um, Steven Espinosa has a, a full intentions in negotiating this fight and, 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 and good faith trying to make the fight? Or do you kind of believe Devin Haney, where his dad's reached out to him many times, multiple times, about the tank fight, and, and Espinosa kind of said, well, didn't say anything. Didn't answer the phone. You kind of believe Devin Haney, don't you? Over Espinosa? I, I mean, Tank has been... And I think Tank would win the fight. I do. But Tank's opponents have been so hand-picked and so... Hand-picked, right? Like, he, he's been handed opponents. And I'm not saying Haney's fought world beaters because he really hasn't, Right? Um, but you're seeing he wants to make this fight. He wanted to fight Teal. Like he wants these fights. Tank is looking for a reason not to make these fights. We saw when Tank fought Barrios last year. After the fight, Floyd Mayweather said, no, we're only going to fight PBC and Mayweather promotion guys. Now, I know that deal is done, obsolete, right? Like he's, But you can see that they, they wanted to steer him in certain directions and steer him away from certain directions. I don't see that with Haney. Haney seems like he wants to fight the best guys out there. You know, Haney wants to fight Loma. 
He wants to fight Tank Davis. He wants to he wants to fight Tiafimo Lopez. Again, I'm not saying he can win all these fights. What I am saying is he's a young, undisputed champ who's not who, who's not afraid of these fights. He's got to fight Cambosis. Do I want to see him fight Cambosis again? Nah, not really, but he's contractually obligated to fight him. So after he beats Cambosis in October, let's say he comes back in February and March. Say March. Why not put Tank in with him then? I mean, look, Tank is not the most active fighter in the world, right? Like, why is it Tank in the prime of his career, 27, fighting more often? I just want to pull this up very quick and kind of look at, you know, Tank's, you know, his trajectory. Um, since the Pedraza fight, which was epic, you know, but it was a little long time ago, six years ago, I want to say already. I'm pulling it up right now. Okay. In January, it'll be six years. He beat Jose Pedraza in 27, January of 2017. So in January 26, it'll be six years. He fought William Wallace. Okay. And then Fonseca. Then he fought Cuellar. 122-pounder. You go Riez, Ricardo Nunez, Gamboa. I, th- that was when, like, we're like, Tank, what are you doing? Because uh, then he fought Santa Cruz and, and, and Barrios and Isaac Cruz and Romero, right? But he fought once in 2020. He fought twice in 2021 and once in 2022. Um, so, I mean, the, the activity is not there for a guy who gets knockouts for a guy who's in his prime, right? Um, he fought once in 2022, once in 2020. Is he going to fight again this year? To, I mean, I kind of think not, right? Like, it's already September. And there's really, as far as I know, and if you guys know something different, if it, let me know. But there's not even anything in the works right now for this year, it, it, it seems like. So he's going to fight four times in three years in the prime of his career. He's giving away his earning potential, right? Like, there's only so many years a, a fighter has to earn big bucks. And he's giving those years away. And, you know, Ryan Garcia, Tia Fimola, all these names, whatever names you want, uh, Lomachenko, Devin Haney, they're all big money fights. But we see that PBC is not really eager. And Floyd Mayweather said unwilling, period, to work across the aisle and get him these big fights. You know, Isak Cruz was, was a win. Right, like it ended up being a good fight when he's supposed to fight Roley. Um, you know, there, there are names. Why not call up Golden Boy? Have him fight uh, Zepeda, William Zepeda. There's plenty of good fights for him. Really interesting fights at 35 and 40. Now, I don't know if he wants to stay at 40. He should say that he should fight at 35. You know, but there's an unwillingness, and that's why when I see this. When I see that Devin Haney is saying, my dad called you multiple times, reached out to you multiple times for a fight, this and, and there's no response, I kind of believe Devin Haney. Because we, we've seen this over and over and over again, especially with PBC and especially with PBC and Tank. They don't really w- want to push him. They don't want to have him fight guys outside of their stable. And they don't really want to put him in difficult fights. I don't really understand why. Because if you ask me, Who's the best lightweight in the world? I'd say it's Tank Davis. I really would. I, I think Tank's power and speed. And not to mention, go back to the Isak Cruz fight. In a close fight, he fought off his back foot against Cruz, a pressure fighter who needed the round. And Davis outboxed him on the back foot. So I, I, I think Tank Davis is really, really good. I think he's a lot more complete than people give him credit for. So... I, I think Tank Davis would win this fight, but they're not going to take the challenge. They're not going to work across the aisle. And they're not going to put him in the best fight to make him a star. Like he's got star making power, but you need to put him in big fights. Barrios was a okay fight. And, and Roly Romero, okay. I mean, Roly Romero is a name. He draws attention, but that's not going to put him over the top. Devin Haney, Lomachenko. But you got to work across the aisle. But I feel like you have big enough stars now. Devin Haney. And and Tank Davis is a big enough fight where everyone can eat. There's enough money, there's enough meat on those bones that everyone can eat, right? It doesn't work it out. Work it out the way that 
that you worked out Wild and Fury, that you worked out Craw- Crawford and, and, and Porter, work it out. There's enough money in that fight. I'm not saying it's a $100 million fight. It's not. But it's a big money fight. It's a pay-per-view fight. You can you you, you can sell a bunch of pay-per-views on it, and everyone can make money on it. it, it but it just seems that Steven Espinosa, Showtime, PBC, they're unwilling to, to make these fights. And it doesn't make any sense to me because I think Tank could win these fights. Do they not believe in Tank? I mean, what do you guys think? Tank Davis, do you at least give him a, a fairly good shot to beat Haney? I don't think Haney's going to be able to keep Tank Davis off of him. Keeping Tank Davis off of you is different than keeping Jojo Diaz off of you, which Haney could not do for 12 hours. Haney outboxed Jojo Diaz. He won the fight. It was a close competitive fight that Haney won. Tank Davis... It's going to get on top of you. And look, Tank Davis is not Canelo where he can just seamlessly slip shots. He's going to eat shots to get on the inside, but Devin Haney's power doesn't seem to be that damning, right? So he can – what I'm saying is Tank can take some shots from Haney to get on the inside and then take care of business on the inside. I, Tank Davis gets on the inside of Devin Haney, and when he does, Tank Davis wins. And that's why I'm leaning towards Tank. Like, I, I think Tank's power and explosiveness is unique. And I know he's kind of like this, this, this bipolar, like people will have one extreme or the other opinion on, on Tank. And I, I think Tank is the good. I think he's the best lightweight in the world, but why not let him prove it? Right? Like if you put him in these fights, he may not win all of them, but he's going to score some knockouts. Who cares about the zero? Who cares? Canelo doesn't have a zero. AJ doesn't have a zero. They're still getting huge paydays. I'm not saying Tank Davis can be that kind of star, but he can be a star. He can be a money-making star. Put him in the fights. And like I said, what is the worst thing that happens if he loses to Devin Haney? So what? Do you think his career is over? And I don't think he would. I think he'd win. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you every day. Uh, Eight to ten minutes a day. We're a little over today. Um, also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing. You see on YouTube, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is September 2nd, 2022, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside.